Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to halftone and underlay a linked architectural Revit model. I've already linked the architectural Revit model into my structural Revit file here. If you would like to see how I linked the architectural model into my structural file, I've provided a link in the description below. Here I am continuing from the previous video on how I set up an architectural Revit file when I start a new structural project. So here I have the file uh, I worked on previously and here is the linked architectural Revit file. The lines are a little too prominent here and I want to shade these out, make it a lighter tone. So when I start modeling my structural elements, the structural graphics are more prominent than the architectural graphics. To shade this out, to make this a little bit lighter, there is an option under visibility graphics by going to view visibility graphics or VV uh, keyboard shortcut. And when you go there, you have this window with tabs. And we're only going to focus on the Revit links tab right now. When you go to that tab, you see your architectural Revit file that's linked here with a few options. We have the halftone option, we have the underlay option, and we have the display settings option. Right now I'm only going to focus on these two options, the halftone and underlay. So I'm going to check halftone and click apply. And you can see right here in the background that the prominent lines from the architectural model lightened up quite a bit. If you want to adjust these settings, um, say it's too light or too dark for you, you go to the manage tab, go to additional settings, halftone underlay. Here you could adjust the brightness of your halftone. By default, it's 50%. If you want to go lighter, so you want to go 18% for whatever reason, adjust it, click OK. My preference for the halftone setting is 60, 60%. So there it goes, lines it up a bit. So now I'm going to go back into the visibility graphics options. I hit VV as a key keyboard shortcut and now I'm going to check underlay. So what this underlay option does is underlays the architectural Revit model beneath any structural elements that I model. The structural graphics are going to supersede any graphics that are in this architectural Revit model. You could barely tell, but it got just a little bit lighter. It just drops it down a level below your actual cut plane. Okay, and you can adjust those underlay settings under the halftone and underlay options. If you want the line weights of the architectural model to be a certain weight, you know, you could adjust that here by selecting the weight. And you could see that this column in the architectural model went from a thickness greater than one down to one. So let me show you that again. If I set this back to no overrides and I click OK, you can see that this column here in the architectural model is pretty bold. If I change that back to 1, it lines it up. And I will end this video here. It's a pretty short and sweet. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. If you think this video might be helpful to someone, share the video. And if you'd like to follow along with this video series, subscribe to the channel.